Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Wolves reporter uh, Miss Rosie Swarbrick. Uh, Rosie, Liverpool won, Wolves nil. I mean, I don't know where to start. Well, I do know where to start. It's those three letters that we don't want to talk about. But we're going to have to talk about because it's it's ruining. I'm not saying it's ruining the season because it's a fantastic campaign, but goodness me, again, two huge incidents and it's basically what everybody's talking about. Yeah, and that's the issue. I've just spoken to Connor Cody post-match in there and Connor, the Wolves skipper, has just said, you know, we've had a fantastic performance, that second half performance of Wolves, you mm -hmm. know, when they really put it, to, put it to Liverpool. Mm -hmm. And all we're talking about is two incidents yeah. that have overshadowed the whole game. Mm -hmm. And in the end, They've gone to the video officials, and then Connor says they've they've looked at the Virgil Van Dijk um, handball yeah. in the build-up to Lallana and said, "Oh well, it's not in the sort of goal process." It's, not, it's, it's, it's directly linked to the it's goal. It's, it's the assist for the assist, basically. The it's it's a load of rubbish. It, it is it is rubbish. And look, people can argue that the that the decisions are the correct decisions at the end of the day. I mean, you look at that Van Dijk thing; it probably isn't the correct decision. You look at you look at Johnny and and and, and the Neto goal, which goodness me, I mean, what a moment for the lad. And, and, and cruelly taken away. Oh, okay, you know, is a toe on, is an arm on, is a hand on. But but the letter of the law is th they have to gain an advantage. Are they gaining an advantage? Is is, is it, are we really gaining an advantage from this? That's where the problem is. And it's the inconsistencies time and time again. You see one incident, then you see exactly the same incident in the same weekend of football, and it's given completely different. You know, the, it's been given a goal, and the other one's disallowed it. It's ridiculous. The issue is that this is the world that we wish for. I've said this before, where you know we we have like harassed officials with bemoaned wrong decisions too much to the point now we're having to have someone outside of the stadium yeah. making decisions mm. not knowing the feel of the game not knowing going black and white about yeah. sometimes decisions that are not mm. Black and white. No, they're not the, black and white. Know, no, absolutely. The, you look at that the decision. Oh, right. You're looking at one bit, which is the the Lalana shoulder. You're not yeah. looking at the rest of the play that sure. actually, yeah. you know, should rule out a mm -hmm, goal. Mm -hmm. And then you, it's it's the inconsistencies, like you're saying. It is so ridiculous. It's frustrating. It's terrible to watch as a fan in a football ground. Yeah. Kills it's, the atmosphere. It's almost like it's just you could hear sort of the grumbles in the stadium as if people knew what was going on because they'd seen it on Sky. Players have stood around. I tell you what, I, I've got to say this because I've, I've just I've just seen this tweet from John Aldridge. I mean, wow, what a game he was watching. Made it hard for ourselves. Obviously, Liverpool great, John Aldridge. Uh, made it hard for ourselves there a bit. Having said that, we played 12 men. What a disgrace of a so-called referee. He tried everything in his power to stop us winning. Thank you, VAR, for showing him up for what he really is. Great three points. Is he? Is he off his rocker? They wonder why people call him Liv VAR Pool. Yeah, yeah, Liv yeah. VAR yeah. Pool. I can't say it. It is frustrating because we should be talking about a fantastic Wolves performance we who deserved at least one point, if not all three, but at least a point. Okay, Liverpool had their chances, as you would do expect. I mean, the, you know, what, however many points clear at the top of the Premier League, of course they're going to get chances at Anfield. But at the same time, four changes, taking some of the, you know, the top yeah. players in recent weeks in Raul and yeah. Damatriori and Dokau, and, and they matched them and they did so, so well. And like you say, Swab, so that second half display was superb. Vinagre, Pedro Neto, yeah. performances across the board. Neves in the first half for me. It was Maximilian grit. Kilman. Cody. Oh, Connor they were Cody. brilliant. Yeah. It was honestly, it was one of, it was such a good performance. Yeah. But the good thing about this, and what you should think about this, is that this is one of the performances. That City performance might have alerted the rest of the Premier League, but yeah. anyone who was watching at home yeah, yeah. knows now how good a side oh. Wolves are, which is brilliant. Mm. You know, people mm. will be sat there going, oh, VAR, but anyone who sat down and watched yeah. the whole 90 minutes yeah. can say, Nuno, tactically, yeah. the shift to 3 5 2, yeah. the way that they handled Mane, mm -hmm. the way that they handled Salah, yeah. the way that yeah. they limited chances, yeah. the way that Wolves defended. And this and is this is Ryan Bennett and Kilman do, do, doing the business. I mean, how could it is? Yeah, yeah. Well, right, without sort of you know any uh, any games before. Yeah, it's brilliant. brilliant. And, and look, like you say, if anyone brilliant. if anyone knew. I didn't know before. Look, look Wolves, Wolves, can, Wolves can mix it with the best of them, and I think that they are amongst the best of them now. Mm. Okay, you take away, let's say, Liverpool, Manchester City. Um, they're, they're now in this tier with, with Spurs, Chelsea, Tottenham, uh, Leicester City, and there's not a lot between the sides. And I think they're better than a lot of these sides. It's just frustrating when they come here. Just, just, just make the right decision, and, and, and Wolves, Wolves get at least a point today. Anyway, 
the positives are it's been a fantastic week it's been a fantastic season obviously yeah. Yeah. and they're going to go there they go to Watford now uh, some of them well rested and they're going to be angry and they're going to want to go but they've got to go and play at this intensity uh, and, and beat Watford who are, who are going to be up there yeah they're, yeah. they're, they're buzzing at the moment they've got to they've completely just got to switch on focus get their 2020 mindset on yeah and just feel like right, okay 2020 and, and groove 2020 groove on, yeah but we always see this wolf side even after the VAR incidents today yeah. we, we thought oh are they going to come out in the second half yeah demoralised no mm. they come back every time someone kicks wolves yeah. they come back growling mm. and growling, that is like growling. It. They growling they come back growling yeah. not purring they come yeah. back growling they come back fighting yeah. they come back snarling yeah. they come back yeah. and that, that's the spirit of this side and honestly Watford need to be worried they, they, they do need to be because worried because of the pain of this performance the pain of the players Connor Cody sat there you know they, yeah. you can see that the players are physically annoyed and, yeah. and in pain yeah. by this result and that is good yeah. in a way because yeah. We'll see a response. But, but make, no, make no buzz about it. The players should be proud. The fans should be proud. They were brilliant today. Out sang Liverpool uh, yet again at Anfield, and, and and this is a pleasure. This this team was a pleasure to. It was a pleasure to watch them today. Yeah, I just got an itchy nose. So I was just doing that. <laughs> just if people are watching, it wasn't smelling my hand. It was just like uh, itching. It, it, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, they, they, just were, they were brilliant. They were brilliant. Every single man there were they were superb. And Klopp knows that as well. Klopp gave them plenty of credit as you would do. You know, when you just, yeah. just just to the win. And I think Klopp Klopp knows deep down that they were pretty lucky as well um, in the build up to the goal and the Neto's it's just it's just it's very frustrating all around I don't want to swear on camera but I, I'm, no, I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit miffed I'm a bit miffed but, but like you say it's, it's a great performance and, and on to on to Watford we shall be there yeah on to Watford we shall be there keep in touch with the Express and Star for all your latest Wolves gossip oh well you've done my sign up happy days yeah.